What's going on everybody welcome back to another video so the update is out and superior iron man buff is now live in game so we have him at sick 200 and rank 5 we're going to showcase his damage today but before we get into the gameplay let's just quickly read his abilities because he can be a little bit of a complicated champion so he takes 50 percent less damage from shock incinerate and bleed and then this increases further by 50 percent for each unique superior buff on him which is really easy to get superior buffs and we're going to talk about what that is. So he can go up to 100% less damage, even more, from Incinerate, Shock, and Bleeds, which means you're just going to heal from them. Now, for each buff we have active, we gain more attack and armor rating, which is really nice. Makes us tanky as well. And then, he has a 25% chance to auto-block income basic attacks while he's got 3 or more unique superior buffs. But if he's got 5, the chance goes up to 100 and it now triggers parry, which is really nice safety for attack. Now, for his superior buffs, so what are those? So those have ability accuracy, uh, more ability accuracy, 100% uh, bonus ability accuracy. And you can have 8 of each stack. So the buffs can be armor up, energy resistance, critical resistance, amplify, or regen. Now, you can also use the pre fight to make the first buff being energy resist, armor up, or amplify. Now, how do you get those buffs? Intercepting the opponent with a medium or striking them with a second medium, so finishing a combo with a medium grants one unique superior buff that he does not already have and then if, if if you want to stack those you can you remember you can go up to eight you will need to intercept with a light attack or end your combo with a light attack which will grant you two superior buffs of a type that you already have so you use the medium intercept or the medium ending combo to get the buffs and then if you want to stack them you light an intercept or finish with a light attack which is really nice and then the good thing is, you refresh all your buffs whenever you get a new unique superior uh, superior buff. Which means every time you finish a combo with a medium or you intercept with a medium, you're going to get a new one, which means you're going to refresh everything. However, you will see that superior buffs last 35 seconds minus 8.25 seconds for each unique personal superior armor up, energy resistance, and that. So that means the more buffs you get the more superior buffs you get the more unique ones you get the less the duration is going to be on them which is fine because losing one let's say losing one because the duration is really bad means you can activate that you, you can activate it with your medium intercept or medium ending combo because it's going to be a unique one because you have lost the buff you will get it back which means you are going to refresh everything so it's meant to be like that so that you lose like one buff at least like with like within two seconds and then you get it again but instead now you refresh the previous ones as well so the armor is 250 critical resistance energy is 250 and then you regen uh health per, in the, per second and it's uh, based on basic health so you're not going to see much regen when you have like high health but it's not too bad and then increase ability power rate now his heavy has a cool superior uh instinct buff which basically means you can power your non-contact attacks which is nice for like shooty or like onslaught now the sp1 inflicts armor breaks and if you have two or more unique superior buffs you inflict or you gain a superior power gain buff which is nice we're going to showcase that with the amplify which is going to increase our ability power rate now for the special two you get a copy of each active core superior buff which is really nice because like i said the more buffs you get the more damage you have and armor and that inflicts a much bigger armor break and keep in mind the sp1 inflicts multiple armor breaks for each unique superior buff so you can get inflict like six of them as well and the special thing which we're not going to showcase in this video it gives you a superior buff well sorry fury it gives you a superior fury buff which increases your attack by quite a bit for his awakening ability while well below 30 percent you increase the potency of repeated region by 300 percent which is nice and then you also have the the cool you reduce the cooldown of your uh, endo sim armor auto block by 50 percent if you got a massive 200 and while you are inflicted with whenever you're inflicted with a bleed and serenity or shock you pause your personal buffs for two seconds now for the gameplay so this is like i said a rank 5 not ascended and this is without suicide masteries so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to start with a let's see what buff i'm going to have regen and we did the intercept and then we finish with light attacks and we intercept with light attacks so we can stack it as you can see because with the light intercepts and the light ending combos sorry about the lag you basically get more copies of the buffs you already have and since i only have one buff that means i get two of them two copies of it 
Now, once I'm doing, uh, once I'm gonna do medium intercept or medium ending combo, you're gonna see that I'm gonna get a different buff. So I'm trying to like intercept him, but the Realm of Legends AI is not the best at being intercepting. There we go. And now we start getting buffs. And as you can see, before we went through the special two, we had only one stack of armor and one of critical resist. But because the special two, we basically get more more copies of them, doubled copies. Or not double, but we get an extra copy of them. Now, since we end with medium, we get the energy resist. And then now we get the amplify. And as you can see, the amplify does not last long. Because it's meant to be like that. Because you just do another medium ending combo and you just refresh everything. Like we're going to do here. Look at that. Boom. See that? Amplify doesn't last too long. But it does give us the refresh on like those eight regions, those critical resistance. So we're super, super tanky right now. And the more you stack those buffs, the more attack and armor you have. So we just auto block there. That's pretty cool. We had three unique ones. And now we're going to throw our special two, deal some massive damage. We have so many buffs, man. That was pretty good. 150k. And dude, we're going we're gonna to get even spicier. So that was like a minute and 29 seconds. Let's see how good this, this will be. So what I'm doing here is I'm activating my pre-fight, which means my first buff, which can, it's going to be the Amplify. And I think the Amplify is, is the best one. Because you can go for the SP1 rotation, you can throw a lot of SP1s. And as you can see here, I did a, a, uh, another buff, which means now I'm gonna, I have a chance to get either two energy resist, two amplify, or one of each. And I just I just want to stack a lot of those amplifies. I actually didn't want to go for the energy resist, but I accidentally did like a medium intercept. But it's fine. And as you can see, the uh, power gain. It's it lasts for a pretty long time. And uh, yeah, we're just increasing it, its potency based on our uh, amplifiers. And it's, dude, we're getting a lot of power. And you can just stack a lot of those armor breaks there. I missed the SP1. But if you're just stacking a bunch of armor breaks from the SP1, they don't really, you know, reduce their armor by a lot. But if you have a lot of unique superior buffs, you inflict like multiple of them. So like this SP1 I'm about to throw is gonna be a lot better. I guess I'm not gonna throw an SP1. But look at the special two. So we get a copy of each. We got five different buffs. And we got basically 18 buffs. Which means our special two is going to be crazy. Because the more buffs, the more attack. So check this out. We pop an SP1. That did pretty decent damage for just not critting. And uh, also get a nice power gain with eight amplifies. Means we get a lot of potency on it. Another SP1 here. So look at those armor breaks. We got six armor breaks. There are another we want 11 armor breaks. Now we get the power gain. Keep in mind you cannot stack it if it's already active. You cannot activate it again. But take a look at this special two. Look how many buffs we have. Eight, eight, five, five, two. It's a crazy amount. This is literally 28 buffs. Sorry, tw yeah, 28 buffs. Look at the result. That's pretty good. And it's not like we had like a crazy amount of armor breaks. We only had six or five. So that's basically the armor breaks of an SP1 and the special two's armor break. So, dude, you can get some crazy damage. So for the last clip, I'm going to show you here what I think is the best rotation for this guy. So I go for the Amplify pre-fight. And what you want to do is quickly do either a medium intercept or a finish uh, a uh, medium combo. And basically just do a lot of light energy combos, a lot of light intercepts to get as many of us amplifies as you can. And then throw the SP1 so you can start getting a lot of power. And then once you max that out, you can go for mediums again to start getting different buffs, which means you're going to have more attack. And also inflict more armor breaks on the SP1. So we're just doing a lot of medium energy combos so you can get those different buffs. And then I could go for some light energy combos here too. Uh, we we'll go for the heavy, we we'll get another superior buff, get the instinct. So that counts for armor breaks, extra armor breaks, we got 7 on that special one. There is a nice auto block, which we love. And there I should have been doing a lot more light ending combos since I have built up all of those my, all of my buffs. But I kind of want them refreshed as well, so I can inflict multiple armor breaks on the special one. So I, I should do light ending combos here, let's see if I do it. Yes, there we go. Start building up those buffs. Through the SP1, we can make sure we have that nice power gain. Gotta go for a light, another light in the combo, SP1. 
And now we just have a lot of energy resist, amplify still there. Go for another medium and combo, refresh everything, and now we're gonna throw the special two with boom, some really nice damage. And keep in mind, this is just rank five. He's not ascended. I think I will ascend him after this video. I kind of like him. 65,000 SP1. That's not with Suicide Masters. That's like his damage. Like, yeah, no synergies or anything, no boost. So yeah, man, I think Superior Iron Man is pretty fun to use. And you just, you know, I think the, ampl the Amplify Rotation is the best one if you want to get like a little bit more damage on the special one, get those power gains. You could go for straight to a special two if you can. So you, you got to do like a mix of like medium and the combos, light intercepts, light and the combos. But what I like to do is getting the Amplify as max as possible. So your SP1 gives you much, much bigger power gain. So yeah, let me know what you think about Superior Iron Man. Do you think he is worth ascending? I definitely think he's worth um, ranking up. But I probably will ascend him as well and try him out in the current uh, Battlegrounds meta. Hopefully, I can have a video for that too soon. And yeah, guys, let me know what you think about Superior Iron Man. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.